Welcome back to the Abitra YouTube channel. Today we'll be learning how to make a kimono yoke draped sleeve, okay? So this is the kimono part of the sleeve and it is draped on the neckline area like this. It's very simple to make and it is really really lovely. If this is what you would like to learn, kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. So to make this blouse, I'm just going to be using my basic bodies. This is the front and this is the back. So it's just a regular basic bodies. And I have my dart here. So this is my front, this is my waist dart and this is my shoulder dart. So the first thing I'll be doing is transferring this shoulder dart to my waist dart. And to do this, I'm just going to open up this shoulder dart like this. And then after opening it up, I'm going to open up my waist that also. And after doing this, I'm just going to close my shoulder that. So once I close my shoulder that, it's going to automatically transfer it to my waist that. So using my masking tape, I'm going to close this shoulder that. So now I'm going to redraw my shoulder so that I can have something that is matching each other like this. And then I can cut this out. So this is what I'm doing for my front. Now to cut out my yoke, I need to determine the neck depth that I want to work with. So using my tape rule right now, I'll measure how deep I want my neck to be. And I think I, I like it around six or six and a half inches. I don't want it too deep. So once I have that, I'm going to take my curve driller and then connect it from this six and a half to my ham hole like this. Okay. So I'm going to connect it like this to form my yoke and this upper part becomes my yoke. So remember it's like a v-neck line. So here also the actual neck depth that I have here is the natural neck depth which is 3 inches. You can maintain this if you want but I will be increasing this by half inch. So I'll measure 3 and half inches and then using my curve driller also I'm going to connect it to my neck depth like this. To form like a v neckline okay so the same thing that i've done here i'm going to do for the back also so for the back i want it to be a bit low lower than the front bodies so on the back for my neckline i'll be going down by let's say nine inches i want a low back so now from this nine inches also using my curve driller i'm going to connect it to my arm o like this and then I'm going to mark the same three and half that I marked for my front neckline width. And then I'm going to connect it to my 9 inches neck depth. Okay. So this is my style line for the front, for the back. And this is the style line for the front. So this is the back and this is the front. So now I'm going to label this part here. And I'm going to label the depth B because I'll be needing that yoke measurement for my yoke, okay? So now, the next thing I'm going to do is to take my measurement from here to B for the back. And this is giving me around nine and a half inches for the back. So I'm measuring from where my neck depth, where my neck point here to the depth. And I have nine and a half inches for the back. And then for the front, I'm taking the same measurement and I have around 7 inches for the front, okay? So I'm going to be adding the front and the back together. So 9.5 plus 7 inches is going to give me, it's going to give me 16.5 inches and then I'm going to add 
one inch seam allowance to it so that would make it 17 and a half you may want to write that down because that is what you use to form your yoke so do not forget 17 and a half and we got the 17 and a half by measuring from our neck width to our neck depth for the front and back and then adding it together so next thing is for me to cut out my yoke and set it aside so if you forget you can always go back and remeasure it once you don't throw away your yoke okay so this is my front and this is my back and i don't want any sharp edge so i'm going to be trying to smoothen it out around here okay so now i'm going to cut through because i want the seam at the center point so this is my center front and this is my side front so this is my center back and this is my side back so for the back also i'm going to be cutting out my that so this pattern already has a side seam allowance but for the center back i'll be adding a zipper so here when i'm cutting on my fabric i'll be adding my zipper allowance to this because it doesn't have a zipper allowance yet so now i'm going to take this to the fabric and then cut it out Okay, so I'm going to have to cut it. This is the center back and like I said, I added allowance. So my pattern was not long enough. It was shorted, it had shortage of 2 inches. So that was why I added 2 inches to the hemline of all of them when I was cutting it on my fabric. So this is for the 2 center, two, 2 center back. This is for the center back and side back. And this is for the center front and side front. So now I will detach it now. And take it to the sewing machine so that i can join them together okay so now to draft how are you have gone ahead to sew this so this is the back and this is the front remember that we measured our neckline for both front and back and we added it and we got 17 and a half so i just measured from the neck width to the neck depth for the front neck deep to with neck depth for the back and i got this okay so now that's going to be the length of the yoke and to get the width of the yoke i'm just going to put the front bodies unfold like this remember we are going to be cutting two different yokes separately so once i put it on fold i'll take my tape rope and then measure what i have on the upper part here up to the side seam so here i have nine around nine inches so that's going to be the width of my yoke so now depending on how full you want it to be you can multiply your nine inches by two or three so I'll be multiplying it by just two and that's going to give me 18 inches which means what I'll be cutting is 18 inches width and the length is going to be 17 and a half for my yoke okay so now I have my yoke like this so the length of the yoke is 17 and a half and I approximated this to 18 inches and the width is going to be 18 inches so I have 18 inches here but i decided because this fabric is very soft it's a dull face material so i decided to cut my 18 inches on fold okay so that i can double it so i just cut two 18 inches the 18 inches on fold like this. instead of just having one single one i cut it on fold and then i sew it here and then i'm going to be turning it out so it's a form of turning it as a lining also for me so this is my yoke now the next thing is for me to pleat it or gather it on my body so now you need to notch your center front here by putting it together here and then notching it and then after notching it you decide where you want your yoke to start from it can start exactly from your central front or you just measure like one inch away from your center front which is going to be here and then you start to gather your yoke so the for the front bodies now you gather everything that you have here you gather it equally up to the side seam here and then after gathering for the front you turn it to the back also and then you gather it also onto your back body so i'm sure by the time i gather it will understand it better okay so this is the front part and i've pleated my 18 inches on it like this so now i'm going to go over and then pleat the second 18 inches part to my back excluding the zipper allowance 
so just the way i pleated it for the front i'm going to place it for the back also and i'll have something like this and then i'll do the same thing for the other side okay so i've gone ahead to sew both my front and my back together and this is what it's looking like and like i said i did not start exactly at the center front i went in by like one inch so this is what we have now and then like i said if you are making this for a client you should have your lining so you just use your lining to turn it in so that it will be neatly finished like this so now i'm going to take this to the mannequin so that we will see what it looks like so this is what our blouse is looking like and you can see how lovely it is like i said i did not start mine at the center front if you want you to start at the center front you just need to start your gathers from the center front on both sides and then you gather it to the side like that and if you want it fuller than this remember i just multiplied what i have here by two you can multiply by three for a fuller effect but this is just five for me and i love the outcome so this is what the top is looking like and this is what it is on the back you can see that the back part is equally beautiful i just held the zipper allowance with a pin it's very very lovely and it is also very simple to make so let us know in the comment section if this tutorial has been helpful give the tutorial a thumbs up like comment and subscribe to our channel if you haven't and click on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime we upload new video see you in the next one bye